Alright, so welcome back guys to this week's update on the 30 gallon mix reef, which by the way is underneath the camera, uh, if you see me looking down quite a lot, the tank is right here. Uh, so in this video I'm going to be um, sticking all of my rocks get together, not all of it, just a certain section of it, uh, using D&D uh, &D, uh, Aquarium Putty. Uh, this stuff's really good, it, it literally forms into an absolute brick, really solid stuff. Uh, you can also use stuff like um, aquarium cement. There's lots of others you can use. Um, there's just there's a certain part in my in my tank that it's really it's really wobbly. And when I in the future when I start adding corals and um, some certain corals onto that particular scape, uh, it's it's all going to fall down. It's going to start slipping. Um, and I also can't take my skimmer out and clean it out uh, without doing this job. So this is something I really need to, need to do uh, uh, as soon as possible. Really. So I've got the time now. Um, and I thought I might as well film it as well, uh, me doing the job. So I'm going to be using this stuff, I'm going to mix it together, uh, and then we're going to get to uh, sticking the skate together. Alright, so uh, yeah, in this box we get two of these little packets. Uh, you've got these two little uh, kind of uh, squishy solution stuff. Alright, so I'm going to uh, take one out. Um, so you can see it's just this, uh, this one's green. So what you want to do is you want to get a little bit of this, just a little bit of the tip, maybe a, I don't know, small marble size, pea size or something. Depends how much you're sticking together, I'm just going to get my first bit like this. Uh, and there's also a purple one which gives it the colour. Uh, and these, uh, these two mix together and they form this really solid uh, solution. Um, you don't need to add water or anything, you just add the two together, you mix them together. Uh, and then, you know, they, they go solid in about half an hour to an hour. Uh, so we'll get some of this purple stuff as well. Uh, you want to get the same amount, try and 50-50 it out as much as you can. I'll say that's about the same. Um, make sure these are closed up because these can harden up as well uh, if they're exposed to air for too long. They'll be alright they'll be right for 5-10 minutes, but you know, if you leave, leave, leave them out, out of the packets for hours, then uh, uh, they will start to solid up. Um, so now we've got these two pea-sized um, uh, balls of the solution. Uh, so now what you want to do is just smush them together in your hand, make sure they're completely mixed together. Uh, you want to keep doing this for about one or two minutes, make sure uh, they're completely mixed uh, as much as you can. So two minutes, just mix this together uh, and then you wait about half an hour to an hour and it goes really solid. Alright, so here's the tank after I've just done the bit of putty. Try and excuse the, uh, the cyanobacteria uh, in the sand. I'll make another separate, another separate video uh, on that, but I just want to show you where I puttied this. You can see the little bit of pink in there, that little white bit in the middle of the screen, it's kind of pink, it's hard to catch up on camera, it's a weird colour. Um, but it is pink, uh, you can also get like a, a different coloured one as well, I think it's like grey, uh, for maybe freshwater tanks. Um, so I've put it there, so there's there's these two rocks, there's this one here right in the middle, and then there's this one here. They're, they're two separate rocks, what I've done is I've put a little, that little bit of putty I've just mixed, and put them right in between the two. Um, so it's a little bit soft now, uh, but it, once we give about half an hour to an hour, uh, it should go completely solid into, into a brick, uh, and then just merge the two the two together. So what I'm going to do is, the rock scape that I'm doing is all of this bit here, uh, because this is the whole bit that's uh, unstable. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do this but off camera, because I don't want this video being uh, th half an hour long. Uh, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to mix up all the bits of putty, I'm going to stick them all in the places where I need them, uh, and then I'm going to show you afterwards. So I'll be back in half a second. Alright, I'm back. Um, I think I've just finished um, doing the work on the tank. Uh, I've puttied everything. Uh, I've used one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, seven bits of putty uh, in loads of bits of uh, areas of the rock. Uh, it's really smushed together. Obviously, it hasn't solided over just yet. I've only just finished it. Um, hands are still wet as well. Um, yeah, so we're gonna have to we're gonna have to leave the tank alone uh, for about half an hour to an hour. Uh, for it to solid up. Uh, you can see the tank's very cloudy, a little bit of sand kicked up because some of the wrasses went into the sand and that. Uh, but you see on the rocks, there's a bit, all these pink bits all over the rocks, you can see. I'll zoom in on them. Here you go. There's a bit in there. That coral's tilted forwards a little bit, we're going to have to readjust that. Uh, there's a little bit in there and the pink hysteric, uh, no, the green hysterics. But yeah, you can see the um, where I've put them all. I think they're really good places. I don't think I can really put them in any other places to make it even more solid. Yeah, so that was a good job. A good job that uh, that needed doing. Didn't take long. Uh, off camera, it only took like 10-15 minutes uh, to 
you know, solid, solid uh, whole rockscape together. So I'm really proud of this. Uh, some good work done today. Uh, but we're not done. We're not done for the video. Uh, still a couple more things we need to do. Um, so I'll get into them right now. All right. So the second part of the video, another job um, I'm going to be doing is um, there's a few of my uh, controllers for wave pumps, um, temperature, skimmer uh, that I want to uh, stick onto the wall. Four of them already on the wall, uh, but there's one on the floor which is for one of the wave pumps which I want to get onto the wall. Uh, and what I use is Gorilla Tape, it's double sided tape really. Uh, it's really, really strong. This could hold some really heavy stuff actually. Um, so this sticks really well, so I just peel a strip off, put it on the back of that and then put it, put, position it onto the wall. Um, but in order to get that one onto the wall, uh, I'm going to have to take uh, one, two, two of them off and replace one of them. One of them's got to come off because I'm not using it. Um, so let me put the camera into position and let's get to work. Right, so here are the controllers on the back wall. Um, the ones I'm not using, well this is the one I'm not using, this has been um, out of use uh, for the past six months or so. Uh, it, this is the uh, the controller for the SW2 wave pump uh, J COD, uh, but it doesn't really work anymore. It's kind of the motor's uh, burned out, so um, I'm gonna have to try and. This was used by Gorilla Tape, so you can. I'm literally. This is gonna be a struggle actually to get this off. Um, so I, I've planned it out. So the controller is exactly the same as this, because it's the same wave pump. So I'm gonna have one. The other one of this, on this side, the skimmer in the middle here. So I'm going to have to take this off put th and take this off, put this one here, get the other one of this one, put it there, if that makes sense. Um, so how easy... Let's take this one off first. What this does is this kind of slides out here. There we go. So it's kind of the, the controller's here and then the clamp for it's there. So I'm going to do this bit off camera because it seems like it's going to be quite a bit of a mission. Um, so I'll be back in half a second. Alright, so the first controller's off, that's the skimmer one, here's the clamp for it, and the skimmer's somewhere behind the tank. Um, so next one is going to be um, this one here, that's coming off. Okay, I um, with this one, uh, this is really impossible, this is how strong Gorilla Tape is. Um, this is really stuck on there, literally using all my strength to pull this off, and it won't even budge. Um, so I'm going to get this one up here, and then I'm going to get my dad up here to help me get this off. Alright, so um, I've just got my dad up here to help me get this off, so this is off now. Uh, I've got a little bit of the paint off, but I'm putting a controller there anyway, uh, so you won't see it. So the first thing I'm going to, is, first, the first thing I'm going to do is get the skimmer controller right in between this. Alright, so I know where I'm putting that skimmer controller. I've just got the tape here, I've uh, peeled the size off, um, and then you've got to peel one side off like that so this is now a double sided sticky tape uh, the controller's on top of the tank here we'll just place it on the back roughly well as close as I can into the middle there we go make sure it's nice and flat on there got it All right, there we go yeah that's a good position for it yeah I like that All right now let's get the uh, the other one up alright the tape's on the back of the, uh, the second controller now Right, so we're going to position this damn level with the other one, which is right, make sure it's level as well, because that would really annoy me if it was ever so slightly off, it's a slight OCD thing. Right, apply some more pressure onto there, make sure it's real welded on. There we go, double check this one. Alright, I think we're done. There's the controllers, so we can get a better shot of it. Here, here we go, here's the, here's the controllers, move these lights out of the way. Alright, so we've got these two are the same, SOW8 controllers, we've got the temp one at the top, as you can see it's showing 25.4, and this is the skimmer one, uh, which is right here. Um, so I, I like that, I like the look of that. Um, it's much better, these cable, these two cables for the, um, the temp controller go down the sides a lot easier. Uh, it was quite a bit of a mission trying to peel the tape off from that, and that was a bit of a mission. It took a five, ten minutes or so. Um, but glad that I got that off. Alright, so I hope you enjoyed this video on the 30 gallon mixed reef. So we did a couple of jobs that were um, really helpful. Uh, we, we putted all the rocks get together, we did the controllers. Um, one last thing I want to do, not do, but show you um, 
you may have got a, caught a few glimpses of it in the uh, in the past of recent few couple few videos um, but I want to complete uh, really show it and talk about it just a little bit 30 seconds um, yeah let me show you all right here it is this is the uh, cabinet for the uh, the tank and on the inside you can see I've got these little stickers uh, a small collection all right nothing huge um, so we've got um, Blue Marine, Milo's Reef, Key West Re Reefer, um, that's a Royal Reef Rock um, company. Uh, we've got the Jewel Aquarium, which is the make of this tank. Uh, we've got London Aquatic Design, Polyp Lab, a few little other stickers, so I don't really know what they are. Aura, Reef It Out. Yeah, that's it. Um, so you can find all these guys on um, Instagram. Some of these have... Uh, like these two, uh, you find these guys on Instagram. So yeah, I think it's a, a cool little addition to the tank, add a little bit more of a, a style. It's very messy in there at the moment, actually. It needs a tie to these cables up. I want to sort these cables out. It's another job I want to do uh, off camera because that's not particularly exciting. Um, so just an overview of uh, this of this video. There's the stickers. Got a bit of putty done. They're probably well solid now, because it's been quite a while, I think. I'm going to have to redo that coral, do that after I've just done this video. And then I've done all the controllers. Alright, so for next week's video, I'm not really too sure what it's going to be. Probably a video on the cyanobacteria, uh, because that is um, repopulating. I 95% got rid of it, uh, but it's coming back now. Uh, and I need to put something into the tank, as in a solution. Um, that will quickly get rid of it because it's a real issue. It's, it's really annoying having cyanobacteria in the in your tank. Uh, I've also got quite a bit of hair algae that I want to deal with as well. Um, there's a few fish I could probably add into the tank. Like, I mean, I could add tanks, but the tank's too small for that, uh, which is annoying. Um, I'm still dosing vibrant as well, which will mop up algae, but. I don't know, I don't know what I'm going to do get, trying to get rid of this hair algae. That'll be another problem versus get rid of this cyanobacteria. Alright, so I'll see you guys next week with another video, um, again, not really too sure, um, on the 30 gallon mixed reef. Bye.